super canny, fragilistic, expiani docious. Oh, that's not a word. Of course it's a word. And unless I'm very much mistaken, I think it's going to prove a rather useful one. When trying to express oneself, it's frankly quite absurd to leaf through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word. A little spontaneity keeps conversation keen. You need to find a way to say precisely what you mean. Fragilistic, expialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilistic, expialidocious I'm did a little bit of did a lie I'm did a little bit of did a lie I'm did a little bit of did a lie I'm did a little bit of did a lie could have carved it on their mighty monoliths. Right. The ancient Greeks and certain would have used it in their myth. I'm sure the Roman Empire only entered the abyss because of Latin scholars never heard like this. Your breath before you speak in case it's highly tosious. <laughs> Super califragilistic expialidocious. You know, you can say it backwards, which is Swimmer could have liked, Citizen Legarth, Lacrepus. She may be tricky, but she's bloody good. <laughs> so when the cat has got your tongue, there's no need. Just summon up this word and then you've got a lot to say. Pick out those 18 consonants, add 16 vowels as well, and put them in an order which is very hard to spell. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I-S-G-I-C-E-X-P-I-A-L-I-D-N-C-I-A-U-S <laughs> Clever clogs. Unbelievable. <laughs> Truly, but hold on a second. Wind's in the east. There's a mist coming in. Where's Mary? Look! Who's that in the sky? Hey. Truly, I have always wanted to do that. Truly, everyone. 
everything now is in place, Mary. <laughs> now you're here. We can start. Oh, give me a call. <laughs> Oh, so lovely to see, you. to see you. I need to get me one of these. That beats the rush hour on the road. <laughs> doesn't it? How lovely. Thank you. What amazing, amazing, amazing. performance. The cast of Mary Poppins, the musical. Thank you so much. You can see the show at the Prince Edward Theatre until the 8th of January 2023. You make the best by the way. <laughs> so nice. One of our team came to see the show and said it's the best musical they have ever I've seen. Been. Yeah, I've and been. you've seen it's it as well. Fantastic. The kids yeah. loved it. Stunning. Fully so, uh, we are starting the show with, uh, with a big bang. Uh, it's going to be a big finish as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because in just over two hours, we'll be bringing you live coverage of the announcement of the new Prime Minister. Would you stay instead? Can we, can we do that, do that again? <laughs> uh, if that's not enough, we've got lots more exciting things for you on the show over the coming week. So while we head inside, here's a sneak peek of what you can expect this autumn. The autumn may almost be here, but there's still plenty of sun on this morning. Not to mention thrills. Bills. Mind my shoes. Loves. <laughs> Welcome to Karen's Diner. Move out the way! And a few tears. I was very scared. All the team are super excited. Also, aren't you, Josie? Well, at least Gok's excited. Let's have it. Gok has packed his bags, but not too full, to visit Europe's most stylish cities. Copenhagen and Manchester yes I said Manchester looking for the secrets of their style it's very elegant but there is a quirk and picking up a bargain all going at a really reasonable price meanwhile the ever stylish Speakmans are hitting the west coast this is our Hollywood Hills home for the week bringing their unique brand of help to La La Land including to one of the pussycat dolls you were living in fear very scared. Leaving Hollywood behind. This is my Sardinia. Gino will be taking us on a tour of his favorite locations. Come on, you didn't really think I was going to get on a vest, all right? Including an invite to Villa da Campo. While squeezing in a recipe or two. Minimum efforts, maximum satisfaction. And that's also the mantra. I'm back. For Trini's new series. To help you look your very best. So far, so slick and professional, but we can't have too much of that sort of thing. So Alison and Josie are teaming up. <laughs> to travel the length and breadth of the UK. Yay! UK, you've been warned. I'm loving that, Jack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Josie is also channeling her inner ninja warrior. Do you? Oh, you can handle all of this. And there is a triple helping of Josie on the menu as she starts work... What do you want, witches? ..as a waitress at Britain's rudest cafe. We've got a car to climb there! <laughs> whilst Daisy will be dallying with her dahlias. Stunning. And Shara Marshall will be heading to Yorkshire's most famous village. Oh, you're in Emmerdale! Whoa! We certainly are. It's been 50 years of golden moments and golden characters. To join the celebrations for Emmerdale's spectacular 50th birthday. Woo! That's the new season on this morning. Now are you excited, Josie? No, jog on! Well, there's just no pleasing some people. Good. I, might, I might stay I'm for that. Like, yeah, that's not a bad show. We've got quite a nice autumn, haven't we? Yeah, how lovely to see you. Hello. Um, it's nice to We've be back. We've missed you. Nice to see you. Oh, it's nice to see you. I, yeah. I have missed you lots and lots and lots, actually. Yeah, I have too. Well, we had one catch-up at yours. We did. Which was we, fun. We made the most of it. Yeah, long hair. Well, yeah, you know, all that sun and a little bit of glue and a little <laughs> bit of help from my hairdresser friend and yeah. voila! <laughs> it's a magic! You can go like that. Honestly, it's all I keep doing. It's hot, though. I mean, I used to have long hair all the time, but it's been short forever. And you forget how hot it is like, in the summer. And with this heat that's been going on here, which I'm not complaining about, it's like wearing a hat. Well, it's September now, cloudy, so you're fine. It's still hot out there, though. Woken up by a big clap of thunder last night. Last I night, wonder I what know. the hell that was. I think that's in for the week as well, this summer. I looked out the window and I could see the lightning. 
Da, da, da. Uh, I can see the auto cue. I, I can't. I mean, you can see it. I can see it. I still can't read it. How are your eyes? Because this is amazing. a big change for you. Like amazing, absolutely incredible. We're going to talk about it a little bit later on yeah. in the show. And I do have, and I should say that for a week, um, I've got this because I just had the right eye done, left eye at the beginning of the summer, um, a dilated pupil. And I have to keep it dilated with drops for another week to help it heal. I mean, so, it does, a close-up, it does look a little strange. It's a strange, bit freaky. But you can't really notice it. Can you see? <laughs> you see it now? What? Yeah. Did you see it then? Yeah. A little bit. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> Less about me. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> Bumper start of the week for you today. The ultimate Monday night indulgence. John Tarot is in the kitchen. What you got for us? OK, so think the filling that goes in your taco, right? The yeah. chilli and spices and all that sort of stuff. Then think about nachos with chilli and avocado and everything else together. Imagine you put them together and make a pie. Oh so you've got, like, chicken underneath with nachos across the top, and underneath is all your chicken and your cheese and all your bits and all the oh. things in there. And you serve the whole lot with corn muffins, some guacamole, a bit of lime, some salad, and a, that's it. Really? Like, it's so good to be back. I've had to make my own lunches. I know. I know what's that all <laughs> about. What's that all about? That is incredible. That's, I don't know why no one has ever done that before. That's like a deliciousness. Th th I'm pleased. This is it. This is a, a John Turow creation. I've actually made this one up specially for this morning. First day back for you, I thought might as well feed you well. You're spoiling us. You'll be, yeah, well, you know, I know it. you wouldn't have eaten much over summer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Mainly <laughs> drunk. Disappearing, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> wasting away. <laughs> you, um, you. It's lovely to see you too. I'll see you. Okay. But there's no rosé. I'm sorry, you're going to feel a bit out no, of place. No, it's fine, it's fine. We can have it. put a pause on that. The brakes are firmly on. Yeah. <laughs> right, prepare for another this morning first as Josie Gibson is live with news of a very exciting launch. Where are you, Josie? Hi. Oh, you look fabulous. <laughs> Good morning, honey. Good morning, Phil. A big, warm welcome back. Now, I'm broadcasting live to you from the best country. I mean the West Country. And if you look <laughs> behind me, you will see the iconic Clifton Suspension Bridge, which can only mean one thing. I am in my hometown of Bristol, and, it's just, and it is beggars to disbelief that they have sent me <laughs> to launch our brand new TikTok craze today. It is gonna go absolutely mad out there for this. We have been practicing all morning. Stick with us. I am TikTok in the minutes to show you what we have created. All you need is one of these. Join Amazing. me in a little while to find out more. Thank you, Josie. Mm, we'll see you in a bit. Good. Can't wait. It's the romance that stole the yeah. summer. I'm just in shock. I cannot speak. It feels like I'm in a dream, you know? Yes. Um, all right. Cheers, Cheers to this romantic date, to our beautiful experience, and hopefully, uh, I mean, we will last forever. It will last forever. <laughs> Telling us about life after the Villa Love Island winners, Davide and Ekin Sue, join us live in the studio. And as well as all of that, after Philip's surgery to remove floaters from his eyes over the summer, we're joined by Dr Maria Musaji for a special clinic at 5 to 11. Uh, you'll uh, never use your oven again. Georgina Burnett reveals her pick of the must-have air fryers at 10 past 7. That saves you money. And we can't kick off the new series without checking in on Gino. He's chatting to us about his brand new series. That's at 5 to 12. And with just a couple of hours until the new Prime Minister is announced, we're talking about brand new beginnings in our phone-in today. So whether it's concern over a new job, the start of a fresh relationship, or even if you are worried about moving to a new area, Vanessa will be here with some of her advice and uh, it's a uh, little bit later on the show. Yeah, do you know what? Belle started year seven today. So How she's did she gone feel? up into the... She was all right, actually. I felt weird about it because it's just that next big step. So I know there's yeah. lots of new beginnings going on at the moment. Uh, give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. But before all of that, we're joined.